How flame-resistant fabrics stop combustion. To understand how different FR technologies work, you first need to know how combustion occurs. The combustion cycle starts when fabric is exposed to a high-temperature energy source, like a fire or arc flash. The thermal energy quickly starts to decompose the fabric, which causes the material to char and releases both flammable and non-flammable gases. When the flammable gases mix with oxygen, it ignites and you have combustion. Combustion generates more heat energy and the cycle continues. So how do the various FR fabric technologies work to break this combustion cycle? Aramid-based fabrics require such a high temperature to decompose that the typical cycle never gets started. You can see the dyes flash off, but the fabric never starts the actual combustion cycle. Fabrics like FR cottons that use flame retardants containing phosphorus and nitrogen have an increased production of char and non-flammable byproducts, which break the cycle at an early stage. Aramids also create char in this early stage. Another way to break the cycle is with technologies that reduce access to oxygen through displacement or dilution. Some FR cottons release water vapor, which dilutes the flammable gases. Fabrics with monacrylic fibers release hydrogen halides, which displace oxygen. Finally, in the case of halogen-containing flame retardants, which are often used in combination with materials such as antimony oxides, the combustion cycle is broken through free radical scavenging of the oxygen. This is typical of fabrics with monacrylic fibers. All of these combustion-stopping technologies are successfully used in today's flame-resistant clothing. But that doesn't mean all flame-resistant clothing is created equal. Be sure to check out other videos for more information on how to select the right FR clothing for the specific hazards in your work environment.